Hello ladies, it's Penny, Penny at Penny's Place. I've come on today, I've been um, messing about with uh, watercolour. Um, the reason I've done that is because <laughs> well, the last couple of days I haven't done any um, crafting really. Um, a lot of jip on my shoulders, um, lifting up and down, so I don't think I'll be able to sew at the moment or do my beadwork. So I thought I'd have a go at um, a little bit of watercolouring. Now the lady I've been watching, I've been a subby for many a time. Can you see that? Can you see that? That'll be upside down too, will it? There we go. Creation CC. A lovely lady, Creation CC. Um, and especially if, like me, you're quite a beginner at watercolours or you don't do it very often. Um, I do a little tutorials are, are very, very... Oh, I'm going too far now. Are very, very good. So, I'll show you the first one I did, which wasn't them, it was this one. Um, you know I like poppies and that. And uh, so I just did a background of wash uh blues and greens and what have you just a very very wet wash and i let that dry naturally and then i went in with red just very very loosely with um a very uh well, not a massive one i don't have a massive one is it a mop a mop brush something like that just a mop brush and i was just doing the uh, like that. Then I decided they did look like poppies a bit, so I went in with the black. And uh, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I, do, I wish I hadn't put the gold splatters on. Um, I should have stuck to more of the black splatters. I know Creation CZ uses she likes to always use a bit of gold. And I thought, mm, I like gold too, but I don't think it worked. In this instant and also I've got too much sky so um, I think that's going to be chopped down a bit something like that eh? something like that so um, and and she also does I noticed which I quite like is line work sometimes she just makes her own leaves out of a very fine pen or she'll outline them or things like that and I quite like that idea so that's what I've been doing on here just outlining with um, um, a very fine liner this one a b-roll fine writer so that's what I've been doing and I did put some black spots on but so I wish I hadn't put the gold on now but there you go makes no odds so that's that one and then she was doing like a four, a big page which is split into four. And um, so I thought I'd have a go at that. But I did a background, quite a watery one as you could see. And um, and then what I did was stamp. I used my flower stamps. Uh, that one I, I didn't follow the contours of the, uh, I don't know which way around it looking at me. Uh, contours of the flowers I just did again a very loose they look a bit like carnations to my eye so I just did a very loose um, uh, watercolour on top of it but then I picked out with more green watercolour the the leaves and that and on this one you can see on the, well, on all of these you see a bit of a shine and I've used um, gel pens to do outlining work and things like that. This was like a seed packet um, of roses. Not, you know, just a stamp, I mean. It wasn't a real seed packet, just a stamp. So that's not turned out so bad, that. I'm not sure what I'm going to use these as. I thought, well, they, look, they can always go in my, um, what do you call this, an ATC. I've used the stamp seed before much clearer on that. Um, it can always go in there on my ATC, in the ATC book. 
but they also make if you know if you like I quite like this one um, you could put it on like little thank you cards or things like that so I've outlined them and I'm going to chop them <laughs> and then um, you know they can go on a, on a little card maybe of a, a backdrop colour or maybe not I'll see so that's what I've been up to and I've been trying to finish off um, they've not come out bad have they I'm no watercolourist me arm. I've been finishing up um, a card for um, Lynn. Lynn's doing a little challenge. I have put a video up. I've done a BR for her. I have done a BR. Um, and she's Lynn, Lindsay Von 2. Okay, that's all one word. Lindsay Von 2. So no, Lynn's Yvonne too, one S, not Lindsay Yvonne. Lind Lynn's Yvonne too, okay? <laughs> so she, she wanted a fabric postcard. So I like this background fabric, it like sky. So I sewed that on with my sewing machine. And then I've cut out some pussy cats out of... Um, Felt, uh, it's felted, it's like a fur on top of felt, that is. So I've done three little pussy cats, a little family there. Um, I did some felt branches and I had some red uh, velvet, but I put some glue on it, you know, to stiffen it up. I thought it was a lovely colour for like a cardinal type of bird and then I found this in another piece of fabric so I've stuck the birdies on it and this one's got a little bow and that one's got little gems around his neck Dad doesn't have anything so on the back, I think I've already told you this do you just want information about yourself, your name roughly where you live maybe uh, you could put your address on if you want um, and your likes and what kind of crafts you do, etc. Things like that. So, as soon as I pull in the back, then that, that'll be going to, uh, to Lynn. And she's going to keep them, which is an excellent idea, a very excellent idea. So, that's what I've come on to show you, ladies. Um, I'm not sure what I want to start. I had, last week, started doing little key rings. Uh, this is that lovely soft um, grey material I've got, uh, which was given to me. And um, so I've done a bit of embroidery and I've given him sparkly eyes. So it's just a keyring holder. So I have got another one I've done, but um, I'm not sure where it is at the moment. So I'm hoping for some more goodies coming today or tomorrow. Um... I got I got a bit of money off friends and relatives for my birthday and um, so I've spent it but I did phone up my granddaughter first uh, and see if there was anything arty crafty she needed so she wanted a sketchbook, a rubbers, rubber bands I don't know why she wants rubber bands rubber bands, uh, something else, sketchbook, rubber band, a rubber and stuff like that and uh, so she's gone on the list and it's all from the work so it's all very reasonable prices and so I'm waiting for that delivery to come in the next day or two this is a couple of new items that I've um, ordered that I've not used before so I'll let you in on them when that when they come so that's what I've been up to ladies I've been waiting as well for um, hair grips to come this is from a pattern from last year. I had, it was a bought one, um, a hair grip, hair clip, hair clip on the back. And it didn't have such a uh, feathery uh, trim. It was more of a fur trim. In fact, I think this is it. This could be it, actually. It's a bit uh, gone now. 
and again I've used this uh, fairy light felt and a little pom pom and I thought well these are nice for children or for adults you know as hair grips because this one I think I've still got the old hair grip somewhere in here but I have sent it was in there oh here it is so that was the whole hair grip so if you stick that on like that you've got something nice to stick in your hair for Christmas day so I'm waiting for um, an order of these to come because uh, I don't have any and then um, I'll try and think up some other designs to go as well but that was my first first one I've done so it was lovely yesterday we went to a local um, nature park um, Marbury Hall and uh, it was lovely weather yesterday, it's not so quite quite as nice today, it's a bit cloudier. So, first time I went in my wheelchair for a long time and had a little trudel about. And it was nice seeing the children at last playing and things like that and lots of people having family picnics. Everybody seemed very good, they all seemed to be social distancing and, um, you know, staying within their group. So that, so that was good. Um, so that's what we did. So I will leave you there. I, I'm going cat mad at the moment. Um, so I'll leave you there looking at them and I will speak to you again soon. Thank you for watching ladies. Stay safe. Bye for now.